What's up guys, it's your boy JB here, back with another video for Cyberpunk 2077. If you want more of this game, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. With that being said, let's play this game.
No. The rest will stay here in camp. V, what? you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of Got you. Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance of what? Rotting Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it! Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green! I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? 
He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Good adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. It so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. Set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Blood cards! Could you help me look? Sure thing. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Please. Nada. Nothing here.
got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. And I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Put your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. 
It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course! That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Ah, shit! Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
Catch up! Go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move! of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. more time. Yep. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp, which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. <sighs> Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Bob did what they could. What do you think? At least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There! See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. So 
soft ride. Seems a boat. Hmm? She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. Alright, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. Alright. Way to do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. This is over. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm -hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? I jacked it. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to... try it out? Okay... Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
everything. Yes, you turned them to dust. Congratulations. It's time to talk. What in hell? First and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Elder Caldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. V? Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you? Stay in camp. Join us. It's you. really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro... Me? 
Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine now. Fuck, so I can see. Will you tell me what is going on? Or will we keep playing this stupid charade? Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? The something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relics also keep me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, no. The chip's data is affecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Is anything wrong, V? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points hey, really are much welcome better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But, I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand?
Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video right here. If you want more of this game, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you next one. Peace out.